So you've been told you need a microdiscectomy. But what does that mean? A microdiscectomy is typically indicated when a herniated, protruded, or extruded disc in your spine presses against a central nerve in your body, the root nerve, causing leg pain, numbness, or weakness. You may also have any degree of back pain, but surprisingly, this isn't always a symptom. This is an example of a protruded disc at the L5-S1 level of the spine. In a microdiscectomy, the surgery is done laparoscopically through a small incision. A tubular retractor will be used to gain access to the affected disc. Now a series of tapered retractors are used to expand the area to give your surgeon complete access. After the back muscles are lifted off the lamina of the spine, and don't worry, they will not need to be cut, the surgeon will be able to enter the spinal area. A small piece of the facet joint may need to be removed for surgical access and to relieve pressure on the nerve. At this point, the surgeon can cut away the protruding piece of the nucleus pulposus, the inner core of the disc that is either pushing on the nerve or, in the case of an extrusion, leaking out of your disc into the nerve space. This will often provide immediate relief as the nerve is no longer being pressed on. The area is then cleaned to assure no fragments remain. The healthy areas are left untouched. After the surgery, your body will slowly form a scar over the area of the disc that was cut away. No stitches can be used here, so it's important to take care not to re-injure yourself while it's healing. This may take up to three or four months, and during this time, you must not do any heavy lifting or exercise that puts pressure on the disc. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully so you can minimize the chance of a reoccurrence and maximize your chances of a full recovery.